I'm Luke Lifevesti. And I'm Landon Dowdy. And we're taking you behind the business. Welcome to Behind the Business. I'm Landon Dowdy here with senior economics reporter Steve Leesman. Thanks so much for joining us. Ah, it's a pleasure. Take me back and tell me the best advice that you would give your 20 year old self. Um, the advice I followed is the advice I would give to other people right now, which is work for good people. Take almost any job you can take, but make sure that you're working for a person who understands the business and, and is going to teach you. And that means you may have to move to a you know podunk, or no, no offense to podunk right there, but, but move out to some remote place, but work for good people um, and, uh, uh, and, and work harder than the rest. Did you always know that you wanted to be a reporter? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I uh, decided in college I wanted to do something uh, student-oriented, but because I, I didn't get up in time, uh, <laughs> I, I went to the student activity center on the day you're supposed to sign up for student activities and everything was closed, but there was only one door open and it was the door for the student magazine. And they said, um, you know, what do you do? I said, well, I play some guitar. And they said, do you want to write music reviews? So I started writing music reviews when I was 18, and I decided I wanted to be a journalist then and never wanted to do anything else. Well, uh, speaking of your band, I know you have an amazing band, and you're quite the guitarist. I think it's, I do have a band. I wouldn't call it amazing. We have work <laughs> to do, but, and, and I do play guitar, yeah. So, so why not follow the band? Why, why journalism? So uh, that's a pretty funny question. I, I walked into... Um, Kenny's Castaways one night in the village and uh, there was this awesome guitar player sort of shoved off into this corner mm -hmm. who was better than I would ever be if I worked for 30 years trying to play guitar and I decided the world needed me much less as a guitar player than it would perhaps as a, as, as a journalist. <laughs> well, um, you know, being an intern, we're uh -huh. always curious how you guys started and, um, right. you know, did you have a certain internship or, you know, were you getting the coffee or printing the papers? I, no, I, I started off in uh, uh, the Venice Bureau of the Sarasota Herald Tribune. Okay. So that's sort of like getting coffee. Um, <laughs> we, uh, um, I ended up writing about delis would open or real estate uh, uh, deals were done. As I was the business, the first business reporter in Venice for the Sarasota Herald Tribune. Now, a, a, a cool story is I wanted to get to a better paper, the St. Pete Times. So I wrote the guy like email, or, you know, not emails back then. It would have been regular letters every, you know, couple weeks. And finally, I just gave up, and it didn't happen. Then, like six months ago by and a new business editor comes in the St. Pete Times and says, I found your file and I decided that if you would work as hard getting to know sources as you did trying to get a job here, you'd be good. So being a pain can be helpful sometimes in terms of career advancement. You don't want to give up. To wrap things up here, I kind of want to do a behind the business lightning round. Okay. So I'm going to ask you some questions and just say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay, this sounds dangerous, but go ahead. <laughs> it's okay, it's painless. Right. Okay, what is the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? I check my Blackberry. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes hope that my hit is canceled if I'm really tired, but it, you know, it doesn't happen. <laughs> Favorite hobby? Somewhere between playing guitar and fishing, it's hard to know. Something you couldn't live without? Couldn't live without. Boy, if I don't say my wife here, I'm in really <laughs> You're gonna bad be trouble. You're going to be in trouble, especially yeah, yeah, if she sees this. <laughs> no, but it's true. <laughs> um, favorite college sports team? College sports. I am so not into college sports. What's the best advice you would give up-and-coming reporters? Up-and-coming reporters. Here's the deal. Do journalism for a while and then leave it. And then if you have to come back, if it runs in your blood, then it's okay to work for no money for a long time. But don't do it if you don't really need to do it. Well, you heard it from uh, the big guy himself. That's right. Thank you so My much, pleasure. Steve. My I pleasure. appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for all the words of advice. Sure. Yeah.